Are you a proud Aussie? Yeah. <laughs> Should people in Australia make an effort to learn English? B? Yeah. They will not for taking the test again. <laughs> I only discovered this. <laughs> Hello, oh hi holiday. Oh hi. Oh hi. Oh hi, Kang. Hello. Hello. So I was meant to do this video three months ago. Sorry for the delay. A fan specifically requested more videos of Kang. Are you flattered? I don't know why you'd want that, but <laughs> go ahead. Actually, this year, I've had a lot of life events happen. So I'm going to soon bore you with one more. So I got something to announce today that I just became an Australian citizen on Australia Day. Nice. Perfect. Guess what score did I get at the test? How Aussie do you think I am? 92. 92 is just calling out to me for some reason. I got 100. Probably 100 more than me. Thank you Instagram. There's a girl who shared a lot of free apps. I downloaded it to get a lot Anyways, they're all multiple choice questions. So it's possible to get a hundred. I am going to show off what did I get at the ceremony. First of all, a pretty certificate. A free show ticket. What's that? Guess what this is? This is the third gift. Fuzzy keychain of some sort. Is that a key now? Guess how much the whole citizenship costs? Probably thousands. No, it's just 285 Ouch, that's for all these. And if anyone wants to apply for a passport, that will cost another 300 bucks. So today's not just about me, because my channel has reached 100 episodes. Oh. Here's something for you to thank you for attracting fans. Ta da! Nice. You know what that means? I'm the newest member. Susan Yok Dai Jo means really young boys. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and then Susan Yok already turned 20. Yeah. From two years ago, I've called you Susan Yok. So, do you know what privileges do Australian citizens have? Number one, vote. <laughs> That's a privilege. <laughs> Second, apply for a government job. Seek election to parliament. Fourth, apply for an Australian passport. Ask for assistance from an Australian official while overseas. Uh. Register children born overseas as Australian citizens. So my application took only nine months to finalize and they gave me three weeks to study for the test which was more than enough. You guys have to download the test resource material called the conclusion is quite touching. You'll become part of our nation's story and will contribute to our future. Australia welcomes you. Citizenship is our common fund. Are we bonded now? I guess. <laughs> it's not much culture though. What's the most Australian thing you did? Um, I mean, I had a nice coffee yesterday. If I'm Asian, that's pretty Australian, I'd say. I don't like veggie nights, so. Do you like schnitzel? Yes. So, on the interview and test day, we just have to visit the Home Affairs Office. The letter says the duration is approximately two hours, but I took a few. Means application and send you this letter and then you just have to wait to be notified to attend a ceremony to make a pledge we are gonna test king a south australian on the australian citizenship test question without letting him study are you confident not really so do you know what the test is about um australia hopefully the test might sound scary to some immigrants because English is not our first language but you don't have to worry after you read this if you fail the test you can you take the same test on the day if possible or rebook the test for another time especially if you need more time to prepare and then the most important thing is they will not charge you for taking the test again so what's the point of the test right I only found out I only <laughs> I only discovered this so when... you could technically just fail it a hundred times and just keep coming back. 
There you go, we are down from it. What's the That's point? too easy. I mean, surely at some point, like you're coming for the 50th time, they're just gonna tell you to get lost. So I'm just gonna select some areas from each part of the book, but I'm not gonna give you choices okay. at the start. That's fair. Handicap because I'm Australian, that makes sense. Are you ready? Yes. What are your national colors? This is confusing because all the teams are yellow, but it might just mean the colors of the flag. Green and yellow, right? Well, I would think that's yellow too, but they call it gold. Oh yeah, green I'll and gold. I'll let you pass. Next, which is the biggest state in Australia? It's not South Australia, I don't know. Queensland? It's Western Australia. Geography wasn't my strong suit. What year did the first fleet arrive in Australia? I know everything about the French fleet except that. Which century? 18. There's one funny paragraph I want to share. In Australia, there's a spirit of mateship. <laughs> this means we help and receive help from each other. A mate is often a friend, but can also be a total stranger. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Okay. This one is easy. You see this on TV every day. <laughs> what do you call the leader of a state government? Premier. Correct. Name for Australian political parties. The Liberal National Party, Labour Party, Greens. Is there Australian Nationals? Yeah. So applicants must answer these five questions correctly to pass the test. They are the real sample questions. Mm -hmm. Props. Oh, cool. Can you encourage violence against a person or group of people if you have been insulted? A. Yes if you do not intend to carry out the violence. B. No, it is against Australian values and the law. C. Sometimes, if I feel very offended. Go with B on that one. It's pretty common sense, that one. They're all common sense questions. Which of these statements best demonstrates Australian values? Everyone can peacefully express their opinions within the law. People with different views from me need to keep quiet. C. Only approved topics can be discussed. The people in Australia should speak whichever language is most commonly spoken in their local neighborhood. B. There's no expectation to learn any particular language in Australia. C. Yes, English is the national language and it helps to get an education, a job and to integrate into the community. B? Yeah. What so, I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. You're speak whatever language you want. Answer is C. Oh, wow. They it's want us to fun. contribute to society. To be fair, like in the past, like lots of immigrants don't speak English and they survive. Like my grandma in Canada can't speak English. A. It is against the law to disagree with one another. B. No people only need to treat each other with respect if they agree with one another. Yes, peaceful disagreement reflects Australian values. So easy. Which of the following is an example of contributing to the Australian community? Volunteering or fundraising for a charity. I should not make any effort to get to know other people. People in Australia should not contribute to the community because Australia is a free country. Okay. Yay! You did not get the five questions correct, no. <laughs> you failed! I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. That's, uh... Oh, should we say something to all the applicants? Good luck! Good luck! Gaia! Thanks for watching! Thank you very much! Like and subscribe and stay safe! See ya! Bye! <laughs>